My name is Steve Literal, and I am the executive director at Tinker Swiss Cottage Museum. I uh, had just graduated college, and I thought I was going to be a teacher, and uh, I tried that for a little while, and I didn't like it. So I started volunteering at museums, and uh, what happened is I, I really enjoyed it. I was volunteering here, and a lady had got fired, and uh, so I just applied for the position, uh, thinking I wouldn't get it, and uh, luckily I was hired, and I've been here for 10 years now. We do a little bit of everything here. The, it's a great thing about being a small house museum is one day I'm giving tours or I go to a school and the next day I'm you know, fixing toilets and cleaning up dead wood chucks. So it's never the same day here and uh, that's kind of what I love about being a small museum. In larger museums, they have one job and usually people sit in a cubicle and they do that one job. At a small museum, we get to do a little bit of everything. What I love about working at, at Tinker is that we get to uh, teach kids local history. Uh, you know, the kids barely learn history as it is in the public schools. And so we like to get them in and teach them about the local history. So that way, once they know more about uh, the Rockford area, they get to be more uh, basically uh, invested in what's going on around here. And uh, hopefully they'll be more proud of where they live uh, because they know the history, they know uh, the people that lived here. It makes it a more interesting place because, you know, when people think of battlefields, for example, they, can, they think of like Virginia in the south. But not too far from here, we got one of the first battles of the Black Hawk War. And um, so it's always good to have kids uh, bring them in here and teach them about history. We're kind of like the grandparents of history. We get the kids for a couple hours, we get to teach them, fill them full of sugar, and then give them back. Tinker is invaluable to Rockford because we're kind of a treasure trove of Rockford history here. Uh, Mr. Tinker was not only one of the mayors of Rockford, but also he helped start the Rockford Park District. And uh, this house is kind of a typical house of a nice wealthy family in Rockford uh, during the uh, uh, 1800s and early 1900s. It's nice because everything in this house actually belonged to the Tinker family. This is not stuff that we picked up at an antique store or at a yard sale. These are their actual objects and artifacts. And so we have their letters, their diaries, everything. And so it's, it's kind of neat that we are a um, kind of a, 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 almost a vault of Rockford history here. When I first started working here about 10 years ago, uh, everybody kept asking me if this place is haunted. I was like, I don't know, man. You know, they could be playing Parcheesi in there for all I know. I have no idea. I leave at five o'clock. Uh, I'm not hanging around to find out. You know, over time, I became curious myself, and I actually got a hold of some paranormal groups, and um, you know, we started doing investigations here. But before that, you know, I kind of asked some of the volunteers and other people, you know, what they've experienced, and they either clammed up real quick, like I don't know anything, or a few people would kind of tell me stuff on the side, like they'd hear you know, voices, or you know, it sounded like somebody's walking around. It's not like Beetlejuice; they're not, you know, popping out of walls and hey, you know, it's more like. Uh, pretty quiet, you know, more like uh, footsteps, voices, things like that, like your typical old house uh, kind of stuff. 